Hi guys, me, Crimson Reaper, and today we're doing a review on Crovix. Okay, so this is Crovix. Now, before I do anything, I need I just need to say, in a week, I'm going to swap rooms with uh, some of my family. You know, because being my brother need more room, because this is just more room. You know, other reasons, but basically, uh, sure, I might not be able to do a video then. I might, but... I mean, it is, I probably will, but there's a chance I might not, so I'm just going to tell you guys. But... Uh, but without further ado, let's just get into the video. So this is Krovix, and Krovix is a guardian spirit. Now, um, he's the last of his kind. The guardian spirits died out. Um, and they were basically uh, demon hunters made by the good gods. They're the good gods and the bad gods. The bad gods was like Kravix and stuff, you know, and like Karinth. Yeah, but and basically the bad gods would send demons into the world. And at the time, and like, and then the guardians, and then the good gods would send guardian spirits down to kill them. Now this was a, um, now the, now this is, now he, this guy was the last, cause um, the demons killed, cause uh, the bad gods just came down and killed them all. This is the last one, and the good gods don't know that there's still one left. If they did, they would have taken him up. But yeah, so he just uh, walks around. So yeah, he just searches for demons and like people and like villagers in need, and he protects them. And yeah, he also helped an extension of the Makuta, that war, the war against the Makuta. Uh, so yeah, let's get onto his powers. Um, he's a he's a mortal, but he can't. Uh, I mean. Yeah, he is immortal. But he can't be killed with special weapons. Because you know he's a spirit. So, yeah. Um, so, his powers are... He can, uh, he can like... Um, mimic, he can, like... He's basically got the powers of all the towers. Like, fire, water, ice. He also has his own power where he can shoot, like, golden balls of, uh... Energy out of their hands. And, uh... Yeah. He uh, they also he also uh, actually yeah that's, that's pretty much done. Pretty much that. Uh, what else? They can uh, they can turn into smoke. That is, they can turn into smoke. And they have a camouflage. They can go. They can. Uh, they can go invisible. That's another power. They're a bit random, but yeah, yeah. They just give them. So yeah. Um, his sword is the sword is magical. Not all of them use swords. They all use different weapons. But this is one of them that used the sword. Now this is like a katana, and I. He holds it with one hand, but it should be held with like two hands. But he holds it with one because you know he's because he one of the other powers is like super strength, like they're stronger than normal people. Um, so yeah, uh, the sword is magical because it can trap the souls of victims that it kills, and uh, yeah. That's pretty much that. Um. Yeah. Also, it also has a demon side of it. The sword was used to contain a demon because once it traps the soul of a person, of a demon, it grants it uses that power. Like, so the last demon he killed could camouflage. That's why he has the ability to camouflage because uh, his the demon soul was trapped in here. So, uh, he can camouflage when he's holding the sword. But, that only works with, like, demons made by the bad gods, like, Crimson and Baron are half demons. And if this killed them, it, w it, w it couldn't use their power. It wouldn't use it. It wouldn't be able to use their power. It only works with the bad god, or the, from the evil gods. So, you know, does that but if the sword's broken 
all of those souls get released because the demons couldn't really be killed so the only reason they could do that is keeping their soul a uh, prisoner so the demons couldn't be killed so yeah so if this sword broke they would be released and then he wouldn't be able to use cam camouflage or any of the demons that or any of the demons powers but you know he still has some powers though so you know um i like this guy I like his colour scheme. I went for like a silver and gold because I wanted to do that. So you know, as you can see. Uh, yeah. Just, just look at him. Because there was a, I didn't really have a half silver, half gold. So basically, and I couldn't be bothered to paint it. I didn't want to get you know, my dad to do it. So, because you know, he's been painting a lot of me lately. So um, I just got this. I made this so the gold would overlap here. Whereas the silver would go over here, so you know, and then yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, there's not really anything else to say. So, thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. Um, if you subscribe, that would be a big help, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.